Okay, hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. Today is November the 10th, 2014. And this video is about getting uh, 60 frames per second in your mobile games, uh, iOS and Android, for a smooth user experience. The reason that I'm doing this video is because recently I watched the, I've been watching the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare a video series on YouTube, uh, and I'm still watching it now. And uh, the cool thing is what they did on YouTube recently is they allowed 60 frame per second videos. So if you click on settings and then quality, you'll notice on the summer videos there, ah, you can't see it. Arr, it's terrible quality. There you go. It's got 720p and then it's got 60 FPS and 1080p 60 FPS. And I'm watching it 70, uh, 720p 60 FPS and it looks amazing, guys. Now this video isn't gonna do it any justice at all, but uh, obviously because this, this camera that I'm using on my phone now is recording, it's not recording uh, at 60 FPS uh, and it's low quality as well, but it looks glorious, guys. Totally check out this video series in 60 FPS. Uh, not only is it a great game to get some inspiration for if you're doing shooters like we are, but it just looks awesome, so really check it out. Uh, and it made me think a lot about uh, 60 FPS and getting a smooth frame rate experience in your games. Um, I said to our developer, Nick, the other day that I, the first time ever, check it out, uh, I played Sniper XXX on a, an iPhone 5 because my wife got a new iPhone just yesterday. This is a 5S. And this is a Kindle 7-inch HD. And this one over here, this old thing, is a iPod 4, fourth generation. And then over the other side of my room there, I also have an iP iPad 1, okay? Now, I test on an iPad 1 and the iPod 4th generation and the Kindle, and also this device that I'm recording on right now, which is a Sony E1. These are older devices. Uh, the Sony E1 is, is a newer device, but it's a, it's a budget device, so it's lower end. Now, the reason that I test on these is because my thinking, my theory, if you want to call it that, is that if you can get the game running smoothly on a device like this Sony E1 that I'm filming on now, or the Kindle 7-inch HD, which is slightly older now, then you're gonna get it running smoothly, really smoothly, and it's gonna be 60 FPS probably on the newer devices like the iPhone 5, the iPhone 6, the Samsung Galaxy Note, uh, the Samsung Galaxy 5, the 4, uh, and a bunch of other devices like the new Sony ones, including the Sony Xperia, which my uh, wife also had recently. So it's um, it's something that that is good to target. So I'll quickly show you guys here. I don't know if this is really gonna turn out so well. This is actually Sniper XXX version two that we're working on right now. It's not been released. Um, but I'll, I'll click play on these ones as well. This is cool setting it up like this. I don't think we're gonna see much difference on this camera guys. It's because um, in terms of seeing like different FPS, you know, let me just start this off here. In fact, I think there might be a problem with this one because this is version two that I've not installed the latest one yet, but I might just show you on here anyway. Um, so this is the, let me just turn off the bullet camera. So this is the iPod 4. And it's kind of hard to see through the camera, but there is like, roughly this is playing right now at 30 FPS. I'm looking at the screen through directly. I'm not looking through the recording, the camera. When you shoot one of the zombies, when the blood splats appear, there's a definite frame rate drop. Don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, let me just try and zoom in a little and I can maybe show you. No, he's not doing it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you could see that a little bit. Obviously it's not very clear, but trust me guys, what on this iPod uh, fourth generation, uh, it really does slow down. Oh, by the way, quick note, this is the new frames that we added to Chart Boost recently, uh, the Halloween ones. Dum, dum, dum. I talked about that in a different video to get a higher click rate. I just wanted to show it you on screen. It looks really good, those frames. So anyway, uh, the frame rate definitely drops on this one. So it's getting a, th it, this one on average gets around a 30 FPS frame rate. Uh, this one, guys, I can't really show you. Um, <coughs> It gets a little bit better than the iPhone, and I'm gonna to have to go back because it's, uh, I can't exit out of that screen now. Okay, yeah, just let it boot up again. So, um, there's a definite frame rate drop um, 
uh, on the iPod fourth generation. This one, I'll go to the missions. This is actually not released yet, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you guys anyway and just give you an idea of the the way that I do different te- testing on different devices. It's really important because I actually it opened my eyes up yesterday when I first tested on the iPhone 5S, so it made a really big difference. This runs at roughly 30 frames per second. In fact, as I'm scrolling around the sky there, that's actually 60 frames, 50, 60. I can, I can feel that. And it's really, it's, it's actually a good experience on the Kindle. It's actually a better experience on the Kindle than it is on the iPod 4. And this is probably because the Kindle is a newer device. Let me just turn off the bullet camera so that it's not slowing down. Um, so it's important for us to make sure that everything is smooth. Okay, there you go, mission accomplished, and then you go to the next mission. And like I say, this is an early version. But this one is glorious, guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is the iPhone 5S now. And again, you're not going to really be able to see, like, a, a big difference. I'll turn off the, the bullet camera. But I'm going to look at the screen directly, not through the camera. But this is glorious, guys. It's so smooth. The action is just... And that, you see, I don't know if you could tell them, but the speed that they, those particle effects came up and down, the blood splats, was super smooth. The sparks as well are also a lot faster. Oh, God. You see those blood splats all over the screen there. On the iPod 4, those blood splats do reduce the frame rate down to around 20 frames a second, I think. I've not measured it exactly, but the feeling of... Running the game at 60 FPS like this is right now is just amazing. And this isn't the newest iPhone device. This is a 5S. Still very powerful, still very new. But it's going to be a lot of... It's going to be a great experience, I think, for players who have the newer devices. Sorry, I'll just keep my camera lined up there a little better. It's hard to record gameplay in this way. So, um, anyway, but I'll, I'll... Yeah. Okay, so anyway, hopefully you get the point of that, guys. Um, so how did I want to summarize this, um, kind of wrap it up? Uh, so my point is, I think, target lower devices with your games. Uh, my opinion is that having a smooth frame rate, having 60 frames per second if you can achieve it, feels way better and is, is more important than adding like all the bells and whistles and making it look glorious, okay? So obviously when a game looks good, it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna have a certain visual impression and people are gonna like it more. But I personally feel like if a frame, if a game runs at 60 FPS, really smooth all the way through, it's a better gaming experience than say having like extra detail in the textures, in my opinion, uh, because gameplay is first, of course. Um, the other point is, um, yeah, test on lower end devices. If you can get an old iPod fourth generation, or perhaps um, like I'm, I'm using right now, this Sony E1, which cost me around 80 pounds, then it's a good device to test on. And it, you're gonna know if you're running well on this device, you're gonna be running really well on like the newer, more powered, uh, higher power devices. Uh, the reason I, I, I don't know why, but I mean, after watching this Call of Duty Modern Warfare video series on YouTube, Going from 30 frames per second videos to 60 frames, just, I don't know, it just feels better. It's, it's really, it's a, I don't know why, psychologically, I don't know why uh, we like that so much. Um, when I clicked on 30 frames the other day, I just didn't want to watch it anymore. I was like, no, I want, because it was, it was downloading so slowly because of the poor internet connection here. I wanted to wait um, for the 60 frames per second video to, you know, to buffer and then I can watch it. I didn't mind waiting. I wanted to have that experience. And so, and I think maybe the reason is because psychologically uh, in our minds, 60 frames per second gives us more information per second. Uh, There's more information coming to us visually. And therefore we, we enjoy that more as humans. That's a, I don't know, a psychological instinct, maybe something like that. Um, uh, because the human eye can detect like in the, uh, 200 frames per second, more than 220 frames per second is what I've heard. Uh, this was tested by like uh, Air Force pilots I read about or heard about on a video. So um, yeah, definitely aim for that higher frame rate in my opinion, guys. 
and use lower end devices to test on as well. Don't aim for like, don't test on the, your iPod, um, you know, iPod, uh, sorry, iPhone 6 Plus and then think that everything else below is going to be okay because there's still a huge market out there with people using lower end devices. And if you can uh, get them as well, running the game smoothly, giving them a great gaming experience, then you're just going to increase your audience. So uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Please let me know. Do you think that aiming for 60 frames per second is a better choice than aiming for higher quality like assets or textures or artwork? Um, also, please let me know what devices you test on. Do you test on one or two? Uh, like this one is a good to test on because it's a seven inch device. Uh, obviously this is uh, 1136 by 640. So that's the bigger iPhone, uh, iPhone five. Uh, and obviously this is the iPhone four, which is 960 by 640. So we're getting a good range of uh, screen size testing as well there. And also this device that I'm, that I'm on now, I think is 1280 by 700 or 800 by 480. I can't remember. Anyway, it's a, it's a smaller screen size. Uh, so let me know what devices you test on and let me know if you agree with it. Uh, come and visit me at howtomakemobilegames.com, guys. I'm not responding to YouTube video comments anymore just because of time, but I always post these videos on the U on the howtomakemobilegames.com website forum. And if you look under my blog section, Martin's blogs and videos or whatever, uh, then you can see this video listed and then I answer all the comments on there as best as I can anyway. Uh, but anyway, please like this video. Please subscribe. That really supports me. Thank you so much. And have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.